Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhea and today we are going to be removing our makeup. So, um, I want to talk to you guys about last video. I said I was going to put up a mask Monday and I promise you I recorded it. But when I went to go edit the video, it wasn't the vision I had for mask Mondays. Um, the first thing that I wanted on my channel, the first thing I was excited about was this Mask Monday segment. And I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna do it the way I like it. And, um, so it's gonna come out, I'm gonna film it again, and, um, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna do it better. So, okay, so in, um, uh, my skincare video, I talked about the double cleanse and how, um, you should always remove your makeup before you get into your cleanser. So I'm going to do the skincare routine and I'm going to break it down into what I personally use and what I personally believe are the best products to remove your makeup. This isn't the only way to remove your makeup. There are tons of different ways. I just want to show you guys what I use and I want to know what you guys use. Please in the comments down below let me know what you use to remove your makeup. I've been wearing this look for 6-7 hours now. I just came back from a shift at work so you know my face has been through it. It. and um, we're just gonna take this look off I'm really feeling like this whole situation though like not gonna lie so um, just to let you guys know I'm wearing Anastasia glow kit um, the sweets glow kit in the shade taffy and my eyes are modern renaissance and my lips are also Anastasia in the shade trust issues I'm like an Anastasia sponsorship all right, so let's actually get into the video. So I'm going to remove my makeup, my eye makeup, everything, and I'm just going to walk you through the steps of what I do. Um, so the first thing you want to do is roll up your sleeves because we need to take this masterpiece off of our faces. And then um, I tie up my hair because, like, the most annoying thing is when, like, I'm doing a cleansing balm or whatever, and, like, my hair keeps getting stuck in it. Um, and so we don't want that today. Cool, so our hair is up, our... Sleeves are rolled up. We are about to get into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my eye makeup. Um, my favorite eye makeup remover is the Sephora Collection um, eye makeup remover. Uh, they also have a micellar water that's really nice, but this is specific for eyes. It has that water at the top and the oil at the bottom. So what you want to do, grab two cotton rounds, okay? Take the... Um, the cleansing water and you're not going to shake it aggressively you're just going to do a one two three so it's mixed together so you can see like the bubbles are mixed together but it's not like you know like you're shaking it a lot okay so you have your two cotton rounds right here you're going to take your eye makeup remover and you're going to saturate the two cotton rounds if you guys really want to get like specific into measurements i would say like half a teaspoon one teaspoon for each cotton round should do the trick this stuff removes your makeup literally so good i can't even tell you i've had makeup removers where i've had to like tug at my eyes and i hate doing that that's gonna age you that shit's gonna age you so you want to do something that will take your makeup off effectively all right so you want to do with the cotton rounds and i'm i'm gonna look stupid doing this but whatever it's for you guys um you want to hold it up to your eyes for about 10 to 15 seconds Body on me. I have that song stuck in my head. Damn Rita Ora. Damn. Okay. So once you have the cotton rounds on your actual eyeballs, you want to just take your hands and do like this around your eyes, like into your corners and to into your inner corner and your outer corner because um i am wearing a winged liner and i want to get every single part of my eye makeup so i really like to move it around do not put pressure on your eyes because when you take these cotton rounds off it's gonna feel like like your tear ducts are just like clogged it's gonna it's not gonna feel good and you're gonna like have problems seeing so no pressure just go in go out okay once you've done your 15, 20 seconds, you want to gently sweep away. See? You can't see shit. Okay. So you can see that my eye makeup is, like, dissolved. Um, what they recommend doing is take the cotton rounds you use, fold them in half, and some of the saturated liquid's going to be on the outside. I'll come up close. What you want to do is take this part and go at the underneath up. You want to go up and cleanse upwards. You always, in the under eye area, you want to go upwards. Um, you don't want to pull your skin downwards because that's a very delicate, thin area. And when you pull downwards, you're breaking those skin cells and you're going to age. You're going to age. 
Okay. So my eye makeup is pretty much off. Um, yeah. So now that our eye makeup is off, you might have some residue, but a makeup wipe can pick that up. I just want like the main part to be dissolved. Um, so once you take your eye makeup off, this is my favorite part. Um, I use the Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm by Sunday Riley. This is what I use. It's the Blue Moon Tranquility cleansing balm and I mentioned this in my last video it has sugar crystals inside of it so it provides like a daily exfoliation and it cleanses your makeup and literally like the smallest amount goes the longest way I've seen like the Clinique one which is an amazing product um you have to dollop it out and it, the actual product doesn't last very long you have to repurchase like every month or so at least for someone who wears makeup as often as I do um but this one really dissolves my makeup and it just gets the job done and I love that exfoliation because my skin is smoother right after I um take it all off which is amazing I love 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 this product and I love that it gives me that exfoliation now onto the application um usually you could just dig your fingers into the cleansing balm which is fine but I don't know why I'm like so weird about getting product under my nails I have like long-ish nails I used to have claws and like I'm planning on getting my claws again but we'll see but still I have like longish nails and I hate like digging like my hand into creams and like cleansing balms and I hate getting products stuck under my nails so I just use like a q-tip and I kind of scoop it out with a q-tip and put it on my face and then I go in like with my fingers and I actually use my hands so what you want to do you want to take the q-tip and you just want to like skid the surface of the top and just get that much do you see how it's so little and that's like one cheek right there okay so you want to do that again for your second cheek and you want to do the five points of the face so that's one cheek two forehead chin nose okay five points of the face so we're gonna do our forehead nose and you can like r like apply more as you go like if you see like oh like this cheek I didn't give that much like product but you can go and um go in with more and do more so um I go over the lips slightly and then I pick it up with a makeup wipe so I'm gonna just do this and then we're gonna pick it all up so I start with the chin and you just want to go circular motions because that's when you're getting the most effect out of the exfoliation provided into the product. Circular motions. And it's not like a stripping exfoliation. Like it's not going to strip your skin. Um, most physical exfoliants will strip your skin depending on how aggressive you um, scrub your face. But I find that this actually nourishes my skin a little bit more um, because it's not like super rough like crystals. It's sugar. So like it's going to really help smooth out your skin. But the oil is going to restore anything you lose. So you want to go over your face. Don't forget this upper lip area. I always forget that area. Always. And right here like in, the, in between your eyebrows. Um, you want to get your whole face. And, um, if you guys wear body makeup all the way down to your chest area, then by all means take this product all the way down to your chest. But I only wear it up to like about this region, so I don't take it that far down. Ugh, this feels really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. And now this is going to look so messy. But I take another Q-tip and this one I'm going to put directly on my hands um, with the other side of the Q-tip. Rub it in between my fingers and then I'm going to go over my lips. Yeah. I'm so attractive. Okay. Okay, so now that we look ridiculous, it's time to take it off. We had our fun. Um, and I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Coconut Wipes. You guys, this smells so good. It smells so good. Like, I wish there was, like, some feature where I could be, like, sniff. And you can sniff it through the camera. But it's so good. So, and it only takes one wipe, like, with the cleansing balm and everything. Like, you don't need, like, seven wipes, which is what I would normally do to take all this off. Okay? So... 
take your little wipe and just pick it all up. The coconut is like super soothing as well. Like I don't feel like I have to rip my skin off or like aggressively rub like I'm putting very light pressure and I'm also you guys can notice I'm going very slow like I'm not like rushing myself and that's something that is really important you can't rush your skin to be better you can't rush taking your makeup off like I obviously putting this look on I didn't rush like that took me some time like I put in some effort in that look and it's gonna take the same amount of effort to take it all off so Please be patient with your skin. Don't tug. Do a very light pressure. Treat your skin good. Like, you just need to put that care into your face and you'll be good. Okay, and then I just like to fold it and go down my neck. Oh, it smells like Hawaii. Okay, guys, so now that our makeup is off, I'm going to... Um, off camera just wash my face real quick and finish with my toning routine and my moisturizer and like all that good stuff but this is the part one of my double cleanse I will be coming out with a part two um which is like my soap cleanser and my toner and all that stuff I just wanted to let you guys know like how I actually take my makeup off and now that that's done so this is what my face looks like you guys can notice like my face is glowing and it's because of that Tranquility Balm. And a lot of questions about balms and cleansing oils are, well, doesn't it break your face out? And no, it doesn't. I have oily skin. I'm very blemish prone. And cleansing balms are amazing because it restores that moisture in my skin. And my skin doesn't have to overcompensate. Make sense? All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mask Monday will be coming out this week. I promise I have something really fun for you guys. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.